What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day. So today's title, Don't Settle for a Temporary Fix. I was reading in Matthew, Matthew 4, verse 8 through 11. And it was when Lord Jesus was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. And the words say, Again, the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Wow. If thou wilt fall down and worship me. Let me keep reading. Then said Jesus unto him, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Then the devil leave him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. See, the reason why it's hard for us to hold on to peace because we continue to chase after something that's temporary. And here's another thing that happens. When our lives become hard, right, the devil will give you something. That's temporary in exchange for your soul. Because his ultimate goal is to try to get you to bow down and worship him. So he will give you something to idolize. And it becomes idolatry. And that's how he create these deceitful imaginations in our minds. Because the words say the imaginations of the wicked is an abomination to God. And abomination means to cause hatred, disgust in the sight of God. See, one thing I like about that scripture that we just read is when the devil tried to get Lord Jesus to bow down and worship him, he said, get behind me, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and only him shalt thou serve. See, a lot of times people serve stuff. They praise stuff. They glorify stuff, stuff that's temporary. So when you settle for a temporary fix, you will never be satisfied because just like that title suggests, it's temporary and you will continue to chase until eventually it runs you down to the ground. Only Lord Jesus can fulfill that void in your soul. Only Lord Jesus can quench that thirst. Only Lord Jesus can bring meaning to your life. Only him shall I serve. That's why the words say in James 1 verse 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. See, Lord Jesus taught the disciples that you can't serve two masters. You got to either love one and hate the other. You can't serve two though. See, when we think about Judas, right? Judas, he walked with Christ. He's seen all the things that he can do. But instead of continuing to deny himself, pick up his cross daily and follow Lord Jesus, he chose to portray him for some money. He settled for a temporary fix. And after he did it, he felt guilty about it. See, that's why sometimes we can feel guilty in life because we know what's going to sustain us. But if we settle for something that can easily be taken away because we didn't store our treasure in heaven, we're just going to continue to put ourselves in a place of lack. That's where the devil wants you to be. He wants you to be in a place of lack because you can best believe this. The devil is not going to let you look better than him. He's not going to let you outshine him. So whatever he gives you, he's going to take it away, especially if you're in the process of having a single mind that's on Christ. So you won't be double minded. If you're in the process of saying, you know what? I want to change. I'm tired of this lifestyle, but yet you're in too deep with the enemy. He's going to make you look bad before that happens. The world going to hate you before that happens. So it's best to stick with Christ because he came so that we may have life more abundantly. 
not no temporary fix. He said he promised to give the crown of life to those who endure temptation. And did you know that Lord Jesus struggled with temptation too? But instead of letting the enemy have his way, he said, nevertheless, let your will be done, dear Heavenly Father, and not mine. So we got to come to a place of submitting to the will of God. Because the enemy will try to give you a temporary fix just to take you off the course that God has chosen for you. Just to keep you from entering into your purpose, stepping into your destiny. See, it's a lot of people in this world, right, that got talent. And they use this talent to serve the enemy or to serve people, to become people pleasers. And guess what happens? It always leads them to a place of destruction, a place of depression, a place of anxiety, trying to make sure if this person going to like it, if this person going to like it, or competing with this person and that person, driving them down to the ground. Because when the enemy is finished with you, death awaits. When sin is done with you, death awaits. But when you use all the gifts that God has given you and, and serve him, the words say when you go to Lord Jesus, when you labor and give it unto Lord Jesus, he shall give you rest. See, that's what it looks like when we don't settle for a temporary fix. Your life might be good for the moment when you're living in the world, when you're serving the enemy, when you're giving all your gifts back to people that don't appreciate it in the long run. Your life might be good at the moment. But what happens when the world turns their back on you? What happens when the devil turns his back on you? What happens when the devil comes back to collect all the stuff you thought he was giving you? You're left with nothing. Lord Jesus is the one that can fix your life. Point blank, period. He's the one that's going to give you rest, peace, love. You won't crave the stuff of this world no more because you're storing your treasure in heaven when you invest all of your time and life in Lord Jesus. Because he has invested life in you when he laid his down. The point I'm trying to make is this. Allow Lord Jesus to fulfill your heart's desires. Don't let the enemy make a fool out of you. All of this stuff that exists in this world is temporary, but God's word shall remain. That's Christ. See, the enemy wants to use you all the way up. He wants to bring you to a better end, not an end that's filled with joy, purpose, so that you may be resurrected in the last day when you live for Lord Jesus. The enemy don't want to see that happen for your life. The devil just want to make a fool out of you. He wants you to use all your talent, all your gifts in vain. Instead of using all those talent and gifts and best believe every good thing comes from above. All gifts and talents comes from God. God wants you to use those gifts and talents to help save people, whether it's rapping, singing, acting, whatever the case may be. God wants you to use your business to glorify his name, give people a second chance that might can't find it elsewhere because they may have done things in their life. See, this is what happened when the world turned their back on you too, when they deem you not worthy. But Christ is worthy. So don't let a temporary fix be the thing you go after. Go for the one that can fix all problems. And that's Christ. That's Lord Jesus. He is worthy. Don't settle for a temporary fix. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.